Hello, welcome along. Thank you for joining us. Kate Abdo, Thierry Henry, Jamie Carragher, Micah Richards. Uh, we had two brilliant quarterfinals. Oh, oh. Ten goals in total. 3-3 uh, three, three the score between Manchester City and Real Madrid in Madrid. And 2-2 two, two the score between Arsenal and Bayern Munich in London. Let's start with the, the Real Madrid-Manchester City game. Great game of football, Jamie. Amazing. And that is exactly what the Champions League is about. I think Thierry mentioned in the second half, it, it felt like it should have been the final. You know, we, we, we probably are looking at the two best teams, I would say, in the competition. The history of Real Madrid, Manchester City, uh, the champions at the moment. And that was just a privilege to watch. And I can't wait for the second leg, which we may be... Are we going to? Oh, no. We're no, not, we're going. Not. no we're we're not. Are we not going we're to? Not. OK. No. What, is that official? I thought we were too. Yeah. Is that oh. official? We're not. B budget's been cut. Budget? We're thinking about it. You spend too much on wages. <laughs> <laughs> don't look at me. I'm looking at you, Put the Kate. camera on someone else. Don't look at me. Uh, <laughs> uh, so just two minutes from, for, for Manchester City to take the lead. Bernardo Silva. Yeah, right? Bernardo Silva. I mean, with the news that Kevin De Bruyne was ill before the game, it was a big blow. And then Kyle Walker was not available. But Grealish, who I thought was very good again, gets a foul there. And when the free kick comes in, you're thinking it's a bit far away. 33 yards there, goalkeeper's position. We might talk to Peter Schmeichel about that. We think he's just going to curl it in, but he goes for the cheeky one. And the keeper should do better, we know that. But... You cannot put one on the wall, it's impossible. Two guys, one can bend that way and the other one. So obviously he's asking Vinicius Junior to go alongside the other side. <laughs> And now you open the space. So obviously Bernardo Silva, he wasn't born yesterday. Have a look where Vinicius Junior is going to do now. He's looking, he's moving, he's moving. See you later, what are you doing? You put two. There's two men on the ball, two men on the wall. Everyone knows that. Go and pick it up in your net. If you hit the target, it's a goal. And as we said, it's not just for the shot as well. If you've only got one on the ball, you've got two on the ball. You play it short and play. That's the first rule. Two on the ball, two on the wall. He yeah. should still he's save still, he should, it. Yeah, he's still there though, isn't he? As soon as that ball hit the ground, guys, we see the replay. Bye bye. That's slow motion. Mm -hmm. Was it impulsive or was it pre-planned? No, that's what you do. You put the ball down, you take it or I take it. Let me see what they do. Okay, you look. One man on the wall, you don't respect us. Okay, no problem. You moved. Gee, so, what are we doing? Did you it's, score a free that... kick in where the goalkeeper wasn't right? I wasn't exactly yes, like that. I remember. Did you it... put something down and take it really quickly? And the goalkeeper... Chelsea and, and Villa did, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's just, it's just, you need to wait to see what they're giving you. So I'm playing Man City's Grealish and a left-footed player. You have to put two because he can bend. Mm. He won't be able to bend here. This is why he asked Vincent Junior to go alone. But then what do you do with the left-footer? Mm -hmm. So even if you practice them in training, say, a couple mm. of days before, you would still wait? I'm talking about you ah, yourself. If, I, if you take it. it yeah. Yeah, that's, that's why you have two. You have two to make them think that, you know, you might do something. But we go back to the very basics of it. Two men on the ball, two men on the wall. Okay. You mentioned talking to Peter Schmeichel. Do you know he's not on the show today? Yeah, exactly. Oh, 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 <laughs> he's, 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 he's zooming in from oh, home oh, to do the brackets. Oh, 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 he's he's, he's zooming for his brackets. We have to know. FaceTime him. OK, we'll FaceTime yeah, him. Yeah, maybe we'll FaceTime him. Phil Big Ford. games. He is an absolute superstar. I mean, look at that. Not just the whole of our country in England will be talking about him, what he's going to do in the national team. I think doing that in the Bernabeu, that'll be a goal he'll remember for the rest of his life. Fitting for the game, the stadium it's in, the opposition. Stones. You know, that's one of the great goals Phil Foden's ever scored. And look what it means to Pep Guardiola. How good is he now, Cara? I know we had a, we was, not laughing and joking, but we talked about his development. Yeah. Maybe last season, he probably wasn't at the level that we all required, but this season, he showed exactly yeah. why. I, I don't think, what we're seeing this season, we're seeing more of it. I don't think there's ever been a question about his ability. We were talking about actually being in the Man City team regular. And what, what I would say now is, I think Man City have gone from the David Silva era. Let's say David Silva was the main player and the team then morphed into Kevin De Bruyne's team. I actually think we're now morphing from the Kevin De Bruyne team into the Phil Foden team. It almost feels like it's, not right now, I think it's still, Kevin De Bruyne's still the man, but I can just feel, it almost feels like it's a passing of the guy. Do you agree with that theory where you've sort of got one man? I would put you feel like it's, in there. Mm -hmm. no, but Alongside okay. of David Silva, no, because it was it was both like, like it can be for me a Rodri now and a Kevin De Bruyne. Mm -hmm. 
uh, but the little man, when I say the little man, I understand well. It's 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 a, it's a nice way of of, of calling uh, Phil Foden. What he's doing at the moment. Does he have moment... to do that with the? Because we have that discussion. Because he's never really even. Let's not forget last season he was on the bench in the Champions League yeah. final. He came yeah. on sub. So it's only this season where it feels yes. like he's a, he's an automatic yes. player. He's still not. He will be in the summer for England, but he's still got to take what we're seeing for Manchester City into an England shirt and into an international well, tournament. What is it to start for England? Mm. For that to happen, for him to be able to play like that, do they play the same system? Does he have the same players around? It, it, it is different when you no, move someone. But you could say that about every player, couldn't you? Because uh, City is different. <clears throat> the way they play is different than everybody else. You, you, you can see when people leave City, they, they, they kind of struggle at one point to to the the. the it's like the, the, the yeah, it's, it's a different it's type so, of football. Exactly. So Phil, Phil Foden, I think at times struggle when you have to go and play for England because he knows exactly what he has to do, but. What I would say about Phil Foden this year is that when Allen doesn't show or Kevin De Bruyne is injured, now he put that team on his shoulder. Now we can start to talk about world class. We can start to talk about world class because you put your yeah. team mm -hmm. on your shoulders. And that's what he's been doing. In, in the, you play for some great French teams. We're, we're thinking about England in the summer and we've got Bellingham and Foden. And there's a debate about how you get them both in the team. So you, you've had similar situations with France where you maybe had like Joe Kayef. Yes, and Zidane, Zizou. two sort of great players that you're trying to fit in. Is it possible to get them both in the team? Yes, it is. I do, I do believe so. Uh, but I, I, I'm not here sitting to tell Gareth Southgate what he has to do, but it, it, they can play together. Foden plays with De Bruyne. Hmm? Foden can play with Bellingham. It depends on your, the shape of your team and how you're going to play. Do you want to be on the ball? Are you going to press? You can play 2-10 and, and one holding. We all know that it, it's been saying that he doesn't have a Jorginho, well, they can write and play there, mm -hmm. and you have two tens. But it depends on the game. Are you going to be on the ball, not on the ball? You play in the position also. It's not always... But what I would say is, once again, England does have a great team. Yeah. And, and that's why I think you guys should be proud of, is that everybody is like thinking, oof, that team is outstanding. If you look at the bench, if you want to go deep into a competition and win in it, you need to have a bench that's going to come on and, and change stuff. So who is going to be on the bench? Who is going to stop? I don't we actually know, but this guy now is world class. I didn't even make the squad. <laughs> 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 this guy said, he said we used to He's bench. definitely got a better bench now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, <sighs> let's go to the third goal then for Manchester City. Mario! Yes. The centre-back called yes. full-back. And it's been a little bit difficult for him at Man City because he's playing out of position and what we see with our fullbacks is they're coming inside and they come inside for a reason. He takes a bad touch. But talk to me about that finish, Thierry. That was Thierry like. That, that, that actually, I think that, that touch forced him to shoot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then when you don't have to think, it just, it just went through it. And when you know what, I might as well. Then uh, next thing you know, it's a goal. I mean, we. If he takes a good touch, he doesn't shoot. Does I don't exactly. think he would have tried to pass and go back. But you know, at times, it's the reaction and what you do with it. And re he reacted well. And what a finish on his right foot, by the way. As we said. So you've got to go to the second leg now, though. The Etihad 3-3, the score. Oh. Does that, are Manchester City favourites now playing the second he, he, he leg at home? Or how does that look? I mean, with Kevin De Bruyne back potentially and Kyle Walker back potentially, I would say maybe just favourites, but Vinicius and Rodrigo and Bellingham had a quieter game today. They've still got so much quality, so I, I couldn't call it. It could go either way. 